Hello and thank you for coming to check this out. Let's continue looking at ways to create auto sizing and uh, adjustable titles in Motion for Final Cut Pro. So in step one and two we looked at shapes that animate from the center out. Now we're going to look at animating shapes that uh, come out from a point, so in this case left to right. But before we do that we're going to rule out a couple of common options. So the shape up here is a line and the line is animated by the last point offset and the shape down the bottom is a rectangle that is being revealed in by an image mask so if we just animate in motion these are great options to use uh, and very useful but for making a versatile template in Final Cut they're not so good first of all animating in a shape this way is going to conflict with the basic uh, auto sizing features of the size link and the align to behavior. And the line path, well, the line path has no geometric height and width to link to the text object. It does have scale parameters that you can link instead, uh, but that's not going to give you as many uh, options and the results will not be as good. Later on, we will look at how to make auto-adjusting titles using lines. Uh, it is definitely possible. You have to go a few steps further and bring in uh, track point behaviors. Uh, and there's many reasons you'd want to do that, because animating with lines opens up lots of possibilities. Uh, it can, a, a line can do things that a shape can't do. But we will look at that later on. So for now, just for basic steps, we can say we're not going to use line path method and we're not going to use the image mask method. So what we are going to do is uh, use the align to behavior aligned to the text or to a null object. So let's get started with that. I'm just starting here with the base shape ready to go. So let's look at how to animate the shape without relying on a line path or uh, revealing it in so that it's suited to use the auto sizing features. So we'll animate by using the anchor point and by animating the X scale. So first of all, let's check out uh, in the geometry here. You see the width is 500. So I'm going to drag the anchor point over to this side and we want this here to be exactly minus 250. So I'll come to properties and make sure it's exactly at that value, minus 250. So now uh, if I adjust the X scale, we can animate this way. So let's do that. Uh, I'll set a keyframe with the playhead at the start. Set a keyframe X scale to zero. And then 20 frames later, back to 100 and I'll just adjust the curve down here okay something like this so from here let's add the auto sizing features We'll come to the shape geometry, come to size, and add parameter behavior link. Drag in our text as the source. I'll turn the text on now. I'm going to rename that link size. I'm going to make sure source frame mode is set to fixed. And set uh, the source parameter to size all. And we want some padding on the edges there, so let's set that to 25. Now let's grab the base shape and come to behaviors at basic motion align to. Drag in the text as the source. Then we want to make sure ignore sequencing is on and we're going to, if you, well you'll see here that the align to behavior has 
cause the shape to animate from the center now. So that's because it's aligned to center, center. Let's change that to left, left. So let's do a check on the auto sizing. So you'll note that because my text is aligned to center that it uh, pushes out this way. That's not really a problem at all because our template has on-screen controls. So the editor can adjust things back to where they want to be. The other option is that you can change the alignment of the text to be left. Uh, I prefer just to let on-screen controls do their job. So then, uh, let's animate the text. I'm going to grab uh, the no, first we want to make a mask source for the text. So like we did in step two, we're going to grab the base shape. I'm going to turn off align two for now. Let's duplicate this. Let's call it uh, mask. And I'm going to come to properties and reset the X keyframe in here and just link it to the base shape so that when you want to try different things you don't have to adjust both all the time. Now I will select uh, the text group and add image mask, drag in the mask shape as the source. I'll leave a line two turned off for now. Let's animate the text. So I'll grab the text, come to behaviors, choose a text animation, sequence text. Let's add format position and I'll just clear out the extra text. I want the sequence text to start after five frames, so we'll add five frames and I'll trim it out there. And I want to trim the text object there as well. And then come forward 20 frames. And we'll select the sequence text and trim that out to finish there. So our sequence text runs for 20 frames. Let's come back to the start and I'm going to set the start of the text animation uh, over here at 700 and like we did in step 2, uh, basic auto titles 2, we're going to publish this in case the editor does need to make an adjustment. Let's animate by character for this. And we're going to publish this as well, and we'll see why later on. We want a spread of about, uh, let's go for, let's go for 10. And we want direction forward. Speed will do decelerate and apply speed per object. Okay, that's looking all right. Let's turn the align two behaviors back on. Let's add some more text and see how things are working. So let's try adding another line. That's holding up well. 
uh, when we do use this method, the more lines you add, I think eventually you might see text uh, creep in to be revealed too soon. Let's see if we can push that to make it happen. Okay, this is working uh, just fine. It can happen from time to time. So that's why we published the option uh, so that the editor has the choice to switch from uh, character, uh, we switch from character to word or line to mitigate that. So that is one way to create auto-sizing uh, titles that uh, animate from a direction without relying on a uh, line path or uh, revealing in um, because in those situations uh, they don't really suit the auto sizing features. Let's have a look at another method. I took everything out and I just left the base shape linked to the titles, the text by size. So you can see that when we release the alignment between the shape and the text, we get this distortion now with the shape. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to grab this group and add a rectangle. I'm going to call this uh, the anchor and I'll grab the base shape and add an align to behavior and drag in this anchor as the source and we want to set align base to left and we want the left of the base shape aligned to the right of the anchor source. So that has, I'll just turn this uh, shape off, that has restored the stability to the animation. Um, but now if we are to add more text, you'll see the text is creeping over here. And if we adjust that by alignment, the text will fly over there. So what we want to do is anchor the text to the same null object. So let's grab the text and add a line to, use the anchor as the source, and change the settings left and right. So because of this, we can now release the height of uh, the text from the height, uh, the height of the shape from the height of the text. So let's do that. We'll just have the width linked. get to turn the link back on. So now the height of our base shape is free to animate by height. The other feature here is that this anchor now can be animated to move everything with it. And in motion there's, um, there's lots of different ways to do the same thing. And um, of course you could animate the group to move, but this is uh, something you might want to use when you want to anchor lots of different things to this anchor. You can align lots of different objects to come in and uh, move around at the same time. So if we grab this anchor shape uh, from here, let's come to Let's animate on let's animate on the Y over ten frames. If 
Okay, so there we go. We covered another basic way to set up an auto sizing uh, title for Final Cut. I hope this was useful for you. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching.